this. So. All right, so, um, hey guys, today I'm going to be, I got these new parts from Phone Blast. I got a nice sticker from them as well. I got a bunch of these micro switches, a whole bunch of them. I got some voltmeters, a green one, a blue one. I got a green one and a blue one. Oh, this is not the green one. Green and blue, and then the other one's a red one that I got from some store, from some Chinese seller, um, or I don't know. Yeah, some other place. But now, today, I'm going to be putting, installing my new 3D printed rev trigger by Foam Blast. Now, these are designed after Bobo Lolo. I think that's how you say his name. Don't know. His, his original design where he made, he got the Strife rev trigger, and he used epoxy putty to make this little lip that came out. And that makes it so it's very comfortable to rev. Because the rev trigger on the Strife is not, it's okay, but it's not the best. So today, I'm just going to be replacing this. So, I don't actually need to. I was going to take the whole blaster apart, but that's actually not necessary for this one. All I need to do, hopefully, is just slide this out. Right, I need to grease this up first. Definitely need to grease this one up, because it's a 3D printed part, so it's going to need some lithium grease. There we go. That's good. Oops, there's a little bit of a glob right there. I don't want so much that comes out of the shell because that would look kind of bad on the black. So let me just install that right in there. Because I've rewired the strife, I can just pop the rev triggers in because it's already got a one of those micro switches in it. And that should hopefully just close normally. Hopefully is the key word. And because this is such an easy mod, I'm hoping this will work. Let's see. Put down my... Okay, the trigger works. Oh, wow. So, this actually sticks out a lot. So, I'm going to wipe off this... Uh, what's it? White lithium grease because it looks kind of stupid. But... Oh, wow. That's really nice. So, I don't know if you can tell, but it keeps the uh, tri the Strife Rev Trigger now stays out about as far as the normal trigger. Oh, it's getting stuck a little bit, so I think... Oh no, when I, when I close the shell, I don't think it's getting stuck, so... Let me... yeah, let's tighten up the shell that way. Get stuck as much. Yep. Okay. And then I will wipe wipe off this grease over here because I don't like how that looks. So I'm still recording on my phone at the moment. I got a nice setup so you guys can see this third person, so I can use both my hands when I'm doing it. That's a, a good bonus. But uh, yeah, I'm still using my phone. It's just I don't have the time to put into take my videos off the GoPro and edit them and all that stuff, so I'm probably going to use my phone for a while. If my page, if this gets more popular, I will think about using the GoPro, definitely, because, but, you know, for now, I don't think it matters too much. The, the quality of the video is not bad, so. I mean, it's not great, and the audio is probably terrible, but... Yeah, and that's my, my full auto stripe. I think you can maybe see that. I don't know. And uh, as you can see, the batteries are right in there for the full auto kit. I'm probably going to do a review on the whole, my whole strife, but yeah. All right, so that's the trigger. Let me just wipe this off and then I can test it a little bit. It looks kind of dumb with all that white lithium grease on it. I didn't think it would stick out that much, but you know. I forgot that I had put the micro switch in there, so. Alright. 
So I'm gonna, there's my voltage meter. So I'm gonna cut this and then show you a segment just of, uh, yeah, so that's the trigger. Um, it's cool, it's like three bucks, I think, so. It's a very cool upgrade and it makes it look neat and put the stock on. I just wanna see how it looks with the, might as, might as well put these pieces on anyways. But uh, that's the trigger, not much to it. This is gonna be a really short video. But you know, I don't wanna make a video with barely any content super long because that'd be even more annoying for you guys, I think. So I just wanted to show off this cool trigger. It's on foamblast.com. I think that's their website. Yep. Uh, foamblast, facebook.com slash foamblast or foamblastshop.com. Oh, you can't see that. Okay, foamblastshop.com, and their uh, uh, their Facebook page is facebook.com slash foamblast. Oh, let me get that in frame. Okay, so that's that. If you have any questions about the product that you want me to answer, definitely put them in the comments, and I can try to get to you. Um, yeah, this is a really nice upgrade. It actually looks really cool. It makes it look a little more a little more tactical, I think. Not that real guns have, you know, two triggers, but it's super comfortable. I don't know if you can tell, but really cool addition. Yeah, so that's that's that. Uh, if you have any questions, like I said, put them in the comments down below. Put them in the comments down below, and I will try to get to you. All right, guys, have a good day. Um, I will see you in the next video.